With the Biden administration lifting the country's COVID-era immigration policy last month, thousands of asylum seekers will be headed to the U.S. for refuge. News 5's Cameron Justice tells us many of those refugees are expected to land in Cleveland and soon. These are people who had a life, who had a career, whose kids were in school, right? They, they had an infrastructure. They probably, you know, had a whole community. They're here because they need to be here, because they want to survive. An upcoming surge in people fleeing violence, famine, crime and corruption is expected to impact Northeast Ohio. Cleveland, a go-to destination for many because of the resources offered here. We have an immigration court here, right? And so this is where they'll have to wait for their asylum cases to be processed. This expected increase in refugees from countries like Venezuela, Cuba, Honduras, and other countries in Central and South America will require additional resources and support. That's something immigration leaders in Cleveland have been preparing for and hope the community will help support as well. In, in these situations where the government is falling a little bit short on providing the resources, we really turn to our neighbors and our community members to provide for our, these newcomers to our city. Um, and so it's, you know, it's so essential, especially for, you know, stuff like paying rent or buying groceries. Cleveland is no stranger to opening its doors, having taken in thousands of arrivals from Ukraine and Afghanistan from 2021 through the end of last year. And leaders say these new arrivals will be welcomed just the same. Like we did with Ukraine, like we did with our um, uh, families from Afghanistan, we're ready to help those folks find a way and, and make a home here in Northeast Ohio as they pursue work, education, and figuring out how to you know, be really positive contributing members to our economy and our society. In Cleveland, Cameron Justice, News 5.